Hi, welcome to Being Beta, lovely sunny Wiltshire, England, and my ridiculous lockdown haircut for a video series looking at uh, putting up a greenhouse, basically. It's gonna be three videos. First one is gonna be prepping the ground, ready for the greenhouse. Second one's gonna be dismantling the greenhouse and getting it second hand. So I'll take you through the process of that. And then the third one is gonna be re-erecting that greenhouse and getting it all nice and smart inside. Okay, so kit you're gonna need uh, for this first video, um, which is gonna be uh, leveling the ground ready to take the uh, greenhouse itself. Uh, you're gonna need a spirit level, ideally a long one and a short one. If you only have a short one, then just get a sturdy piece of wood. You'll be able to lay your spirit level on there and then get a nice uh, level line across the longer area. Uh, pencil, uh, tape measure, line marker, or you can use talcum powder just to mark out on the floor your footprints. You can get a nice uh, straight cut. Um, I've got a couple of pieces of wood. I'm going to be using these for drawing my lines for my line marker and also I'm going to show you how to achieve a nice perfect right angle so you're not sort of um, digging up and laying the base on a rhomboid. You've got a nice uh, rectangle to lay on. A shovel and then because this is on sloped ground which is sloping down towards me I'm going to need something along here to prop it up so the greenhouse is nice and level. Again, this is on a budget, so I'm not going to go out and buy anything. I've got a couple of old wooden posts, so I'm literally just going to build up the back here. That's going to be a nice um, uh, level. I'm going to be able to get the greenhouse on, and then I'm going to infill uh, if there's any gaps at the bottom with soil. Okay, so first thing I've done, I've taken my uh, first line off of a true line that I've already set, which in this case is the chicken run. Now, incidentally, I'm going to need to screen behind here uh, with either sheeting uh, or wood so that the sun doesn't come through the greenhouse and into the chicken run itself. So I'm going to be doing that at a later date. Um, but all I've done initially, rather than spray over my tape measure, I've just set out this uh, piece of wood. Now, I know it needs to be 255 centimetres in length, so that's 255. And then all I've done is I've measured off um, of here. It's 33 and a half centimetres away. That's how far I want it. And then again, I've measured up here just to make sure it's 33 and a half centimetres here. So I know I've got a nice straight line that's going to run true uh, to the chicken coop next to it. So what I'm going to do now is run my line marker, spray it, right the way along that line and then I've got my first line um, 255 centimeters long. So before I do any digging at all I want to get the uh, footprint if you like marked out on the floor. So the next method I'm using is to get a perfect right angle because I don't want to dig in on an angle and get a rhomboid shape to lay the, the greenhouse onto. I want to know it's a true rectangle of 90 degree corners. So I'm using a method called the 345 method. So first thing I've done is taken my original line, I've marked three foot on there. And then I've got this piece of wood here and I've marked out the four foot point. And then on the long strip of wood here, I've marked out five feet. So all I need to do is just make sure that the five foot and the four foot mark overlap. And where they overlap, that'll make it a true right angle up to my original line. So now again, rather than spraying on my tape measure, I've got it all laid out and I can just run that line mark or talcum powder, whatever you want, piece of string down that line. And I know I've got a true right angle. Okay, and then I'm gonna repeat that on this side and on that corner up there. Okay, so I've got my template marked out now. I know that I've got my right angles using that three, four, five method. So now I can start uh, digging and I'll show you the uh, method I use to deturf this whole area. So starting in a corner, all I'm going to do is take my shovel, pop one foot on and then the other and use my body weight to slam down the shuffle into the ground along that line that I've marked. Give it a little wiggle, another drive in with the foot and then I'm going to lift the turf up. Okay, so I'm going to score right the way around uh, the perimeter that I've marked and then I can start to deturf trench just along here deturfing. I've upended all of the uh, turf just in case I need to grab any soil off uh, to refill um, once I've completely deturfed just to help uh, with the leveling process. Um, the reason I'm deturfing in the first place is because I'm going to be planting into the soil. It's quite good quality but also I'm going to mix in some ready-made multi-purpose compost. So I don't want to be pouring that on top of the, the grass which will end up coming through. So that's why I'm deturfing and also it's a nice little snack for the chickens. So in terms of the process you kind of do like um, uh, rail uh, tracks if you like. So I'm taking um, about a shovel's width um, from the edge and then drive down 
and lift. And I'm going to score a line right the way up parallel to that original line. So I've got a nice long line right the way up and then I'll explain what I'm going to do next. Okay, so with that sort of uh, railway track in terms of those parallel lines run up, I can now cut it at manageable chunks. Now again, I've seen some people um, basically score underneath and then roll it all the way back. This is quite clumpy clay soil, so I never get an even roll of turf on this. So what I decide to do instead is to cut it into manageable chunks. Now bear in mind, I'm gonna to have to manhandle these either into a wheelbarrow or stack them. They're basically gonna go up underneath this uh, uh, hedge here. So I'm gonna pick a nice manageable rectangle. I'm just gonna pop the shovel in kick it in a little bit and lift and then I can get down into there and pull it off and again if there's any excess I should just be able to lift that off and all I do is just repeat that process right the way along until that strips done so all deturfed now I'm going to get in there with a garden fork turn all the soil over break it up as best I can again you could use a rotavator if you've got one of those or want to rent one of those, that might make the job a little bit uh, quicker and a bit easier. Um, and then once I've done that, I'll then start to do the leveling process um, and just double check um, that all my corners are square. I've got that 90 degrees and all to the right uh, measurements as well. Okay, so I've rotivated the soil now, so it's all broken up. Um, and now it's really up to you how um, sort of detailed you want to get really. Uh, for me personally, because this is a bit of a budget job, I've just got an old fence post which is going to be uh, my rear sort of boundary and I'm going to lay the uh, greenhouse uh, rear on top of that because the ground slopes away. I've raised the rear so that then the front of the uh, shed should meet the soil further up there. And then once it's in place I'm then going to infill, which is why I've left this or bun line of soil here I can infill um, as I need to um, so I'm gonna get this bit leveled and then I'm gonna encourage the chickens on here get a bit of natural fertilizer down I've got some compost I'm also gonna throw over the top as well um, and then the next video will show you the process of dismantling the greenhouse and then the video after that will then be uh, erecting that um, greenhouse and getting it all set up uh, ready to grow some stuff in As always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.